Now gonna put it. Ah! Throw it this far. Take your camera. Ah. Two miles so far on the bike. Pretty comfortable. Welcome to Firearms of America. And today I have another shoulder holster review. And this is a vertical roto shoulder holster from Kraft holsters made by Falco holsters. So let's get into it. As some of you already know, I am a huge fan of shoulder holsters. They are really some of the most versatile and comfortable holsters that you can find that barely restrict your movement at all. And this holster, of course, is no exception. Now, if you do need a little bit of a background into the difference between the vertical shoulder holster and a horizontal one where your pistol is sitting horizontally. The real difference is they both have, obviously they both have a good use. They're both very, very comfortable. They both do not really restrict your movement. The main difference comes down to the position of the gun and where it is located. And I don't really mean horizontal or vertical, but in relation to your body. In the vertical holster, your gun is sitting a little bit lower so you don't really have anything whenever it comes to your arms movement compared to horizontal shoulder holster where gun is sitting higher up to the armpit now with this it becomes much easier to conceal a bigger gun like for example my full size 1911 much easier compared to for example if you were having a full-size pistol like this sitting in the vertical position of course it also comes down to the psychological factor for some people because some people are not comfortable carrying a loaded pistol pointing backwards especially if you're driving in a car and you have your passenger sitting in the back seat you constantly thinking that there is a loaded weapon pointing somewhere in the back and that can make some people uncomfortable. Most of the vertical holsters, they do come with the belt straps like this one in order to keep your weapon closer to the body and prevent it from flapping around. It definitely helps if you decide to be more active doing whatever, whatever it is you're planning to do, running, jumping, fighting, with the pistol on you. So let's talk about this particular shoulder holster rig from Kraft Holsters, made by Falco Holsters. I put the link in the description below. Currently, this one runs at 159. It is available in two options. This beautiful brown leather, which I myself personally prefer. There's also a black leather option. And of course, you do have a configuration for a right arm or a left arm draw. The leather is a premium quality, beautiful leather that is very soft and feels absolutely great whenever you're wearing it. Honestly, you can wear this holster without a shirt. I don't know why would you do that, but even without a shirt, it'd still be comfortable. And it also comes with this small breaking kit from Kraft Holsters. That is, if you are having a little bit of a trouble with your leather breaking in, this will help. Pretty cool. And of course, with a five year premium warranty, you can rest assured that this will last you for some time. All right, so let's dive in into the features. And the very first thing that I wanted to point out in this holster, of course, is the thumb brake. Now, this is another very noticeable difference between a vertical shoulder holster and a horizontal one because of the way thumb brake operates. Here, you actually can do it two ways. You can either brake with the thumb, as it is intended, or, which I personally prefer, not a very standard way, but you can break with your pointing finger. Now, as I've said, this shoulder holster is called the Roto Vertical Shoulder Holster. And what this stands for is the ability of this holster to tilt whenever you break on the thumb brake. And as you can see, the shoulder holster 
tilts, which is a very, very nice feature because it allows you for easier draw. Obviously, this is a much more comfortable compared to, for example, if you had to go like this. So whenever you break the thumb brake safety, you get a nice tilt, which allows you for a better draw. Another thing that I wanted to point out here, which is typical to horizontal shoulder holsters, is that in horizontal ones, you do have the thumb brake going over the hammer. Here, however, as you can see, the thumb brake is going over the trigger guard. Now, whenever it comes to the adjustment of this particular shoulder holster rig, I definitely do recommend taking a little bit of extra time because you have some extra things that you need to consider. And of course, I'm talking about the belt straps. Now, the adjustment itself is done with Phillips Chicago style screws, which makes it fairly simple. And of course, as you can see, currently I am not done testing this shoulder holster in the particular position. That's why I left still some remaining leather, which I will cut off eventually whenever I'm 100% sure that this is the configuration and position that I do like. Okay, so let's talk about the magazine pouch. As you can see, this particular magazine pouch can accommodate a standard 1911 magazine. However, not the extended 1911 magazine, so keep that in mind. Honestly, I really wish that they implemented a pouch that can actually handle both because a lot of today's modern 1911 guns, they do come with extended, extended magazines. I don't think it's a huge problem, but something definitely to keep in mind. On the plus side, this magazine pouch does utilize the tension screws, which is very nice. The meaning that you can adjust the release tension of the magazines, which is actually very important considering that in this case, we have the magazine pouch facing downward. So whenever you're opening up the magazine pouch, you can set the tension on it so that the magazines do not simply slide out and fall out of this magazine pouch. Very nice. Another very unique thing that I wanted to point out to this particular shoulder holster is that the back plate is actually made out of leather and not uh, plastic, which is in most cases the standard. And this, of course, gives this particular holster two different qualities. First of all, it makes it a little bit more comfortable because now on the back you have something nice and soft. However, the sliding of the straps is a little bit tougher. So it takes a little bit more time to adjust it whenever you're putting on. Really not a huge deal. I'd rather have more comfort, but something to keep in mind. Now the holster itself does not have the tension screw. And this is one thing that I kind of wish that was implemented in this holster because it would be really nice to have a different tension for the draw of your gun. For example, I do like it a little bit more relaxed, but keep in mind if you are, if you just got the holster and the draw is a little bit too tight, keep in mind that over time, whenever the holster perfectly molds around your gun, because that's what leather does over time, that draw will become a little bit smoother. Keep that in mind. So overall, I am a big fan of this shoulder holster rig. If you want to learn more, I have attached a link to the official page of Craft Holsters if you want to learn more details about this particular holster. I do have a big shoulder holster comparison video coming to this channel, so if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. This was Firearms of America, and I'll see you guys in the next video.